The NFL regular season is coming to a close with just four weeks remaining, and there is vast debate about who should take home some of the league's most prestigious honors. In this video, we will get to the top contenders for the MVP and our current prediction for who will win. First though, remember to please subscribe and like the video in order to support the channel, as well as comment your thoughts down below. The foremost award of the NFL regular season each year is the most valuable player, which now no longer seems to actually be the best player by the eye test or stats, but rather the quarterback from the most successful team in either conference. In fact, the last nine MVPs have gone to a quarterback whose team has been a top two seed heading into the playoffs. In this season, it is essentially a two horse race at the moment between Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes, with Hurts emerging as the odds on favorite heading into week 15. Hurts and the Eagles have been perhaps the most improved and surprising player and team in the 2022 season. Hurts already has more yards and touchdowns than last season with a very impressive and balanced 32 total touchdowns with 22 through the air and 10 on the ground. He has accounted for over 3,800 yards thus far, which is a combination of passing and rushing, along with being incredibly efficient. Hurts has just three interceptions, an incredible completion percentage of 68%, and a league-leading passer rating of 108. Beyond doubt, Hurts' biggest argument is that the Eagles have the best record in the NFL at 12-1, and and have at least a two-game lead on every team in the NFC currently to get the number one seed. Before this season, I gave my Dark Horse MVP candidates, one of the four being Jalen Hurts, and even I could not predict his exponential improvement and the Eagles having the most success thus far. With all that being said, though, I predict that Patrick Mahomes will be the MVP this season. Mahomes outdoes Hurts volume-wise, accounting for 35 total touchdowns and 4,400 total yards. While Hertz has the league leading passer rating, Mahomes has the number one QB rating. However, he did have 12 picks in his lone other MVP season, so this may not be a concern if he is efficient down the stretch. The primary argument for Mahomes is not in the stat sheet, though, because he is without speedy wide receiver Tyreek Hill and his numbers have improved from prior seasons. Sure, Mahomes still has Travis Kelsey, who is the league's best receiving tight end. However, his leading receivers this season are Juju Smith Schuster and Marquez Valdez Scantling who were around number two or three receivers last season with their respective teams. Furthermore, the Chiefs have a lackluster rushing attack compared with the number one ground game of the Eagles that accompanies Jalen Hurts. Hurts is also bolstered by his number one rated offensive line, while Mahomes is the fourth rated offensive line, but just the 14th ranked according to pass blocking efficiency numbers according to Pro Football Focus. The key area that Hurts has over Mahomes is the team success component where the Chiefs are currently battling in the AFC with the Bills and Bengals, currently sitting at 10-3 and three with a number two seed. In spite of this record though, one could make the argument that Mahomes has had a greater impact on his team's success through willing the Chiefs to victories in close games such as a 17-point Monday night comeback against the Raiders, as well as fourth quarter comeback wins on Sunday night football against the Chargers and Titans. While Mahomes has also had some close losses against the Colts, Bills, and Bengals, Hertz has not been required to make any clutch plays throughout the season other than his fourth quarter comeback against the Eagles. This is largely because the Eagles have the second best defense in the league that has essentially shut teams down in the first half, leading to many blowout victories. Conversely, the Chiefs have a mediocre 15th ranked defense that has been shredded in big time games this year against other elite quarterbacks. Quite simply, I believe that the reason for Hurts being the betting favorite currently is due to the team's success and the media narrative about his drastic improvement this year. The Eagles were not supposed to be this good this quickly with Hurts, much less the most dominant team in the league through 14 weeks. The media likes to promote new young dual threat quarterbacks for MVP such as Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson in 2018 and 19. Moreover, Mahomes doesn't have exponential growth like Hurts from prior seasons because he's been an elite quarterback for all five years. I think the media are growing a bit fatigued with the Mahomes narrative and would like to push someone else for the award, which is why Hertz is currently favored. With this being said, I must also point out a couple other relevant names for the award at the moment, which are Joe Burrow and Josh Allen. As stated before, the number one seed is very important for MVP consideration and there is a bit of recency bias with respect to performance in the final weeks of the season, so if either one of these quarterbacks can go on to tear the final four weeks and win out to claim the number one seed in the AFC, they may throw a wrench in the debate. Through 14 weeks in the regular season, I've got Mahomes as the MVP. Comment down below your predictions for the award, as well as any dark horse contenders that I did not mention. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.